How's it going everyone? Welcome back. I'm back with another video today. We're out in the garage right now. Um, I hope everybody's uh, staying safe from the uh, coronavirus. That thing's spreading like wildfire. I think uh, uh, Eau Claire, Wisconsin's got like five confirmed cases yesterday or something. Um, that might not be accurate or not, but that's what I've seen online. Anyhow, uh, celebrities are getting it now. Professional basketball players uh, shutting down all major sports. In the country and uh, it's getting pretty serious I, I don't understand the toilet paper issue that's going on if you guys have any clue what that's about let me know down below in the comments um, all the stores around here don't have it we don't have soap hand sanitizer uh, toilet paper whatever the toilet paper issue really boggles my mind though because it's like a respiratory disease and uh, you know not diarrhea but uh, teach their own anyways uh, I'm sure everybody can still buy the toilet paper online. Everybody's freaking out that the stores are sold out, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can still buy it online. If not, well, go drag her out in the lawn, I guess. But uh, anyhow, I'm out in the garage anyways, uh, packing some stuff up. Um, I kind of let you guys know, I don't know, in the last few weeks or whatever, that uh, me and my wife were trying to buy a different house, and that has happened. Uh, we have a closing date of April 3rd, and today is like the 12th, so we got like three weeks, a little less than three weeks even. I'm not sure. Uh, about that amount of time anyways, we, uh, we're going to be moving, and my niece is buying this house, and we're buying the other house. So the same closing date on both houses anyways, so it's going to be pure chaos there for a couple of days. Uh, her moving in and us moving out on the same day, and a full day on the 3rd of uh Signing a ton of papers anyways. So, I don't know. Without turning the camera around, this is kind of what my garage looks like right now. Usually I keep it a lot cleaner than this, but it is pure chaos. Um, in the house too, especially in the basement. Uh, my wife's still got uh, multiple kids here every day for uh, daycare. And, uh, yeah, and packing everything and getting everything sorted out at the same time has been a handful. Uh, Figuring out stuff with the uh, mortgage too. The good part about this coronavirus is, is what I hear is what's dropping the mortgage interest rate is um, that, yeah, the mortgage interest rate is going down. It's the lowest it's been in like five years or something. And hopefully it continues to go down until we uh, um, close on the house anyways. So we'll get a good uh, you know deal on that. We, we're gonna pay almost $70,000 more for the new house than what we are for this house and uh, the payment ain't gonna be that much more. So um, yeah, that's good anyways. And gas prices are going down lately. I'm not sure what that's about. Russia and Iran or something, having wars on fuel prices. So anyways, that's the update on what I've been up to anyways. I haven't been out fishing. Uh, game fish has came and gone. Um, I didn't get out as much as I wanted to because of this whole uh, moving ordeal. It's kind of been an all winter process. Um, we lost out on a different house, which we really might not have lost out on, but uh, the people selling it, they're not very knowledgeable about buying and selling houses, apparently, even though the, the woman selling it, she's a loan officer. But uh, they insisted on not using a realtor to sell their house, and they started out their price in like October, November at 157.9 on their house. Oh, we're not using a realtor. We don't want to pay the realtor. Okay, that's fine and well if you're going to sell your house. Well, it sat on the market for like a month and they lowered it down to like 147.9. So they dropped it like $10,000 in like a month, which I guarantee they could have sold their house for full asking price if they would have had a realtor within probably a couple weeks. The way the, it's a housing crisis here and where I live and that house would have sold fast. But no, they didn't get the word out there. They had two pictures posted on Facebook and that was it. So we lost out on that house anyways. They actually got an offer um, the day we were, I called the guy and told him we're going to make an offer by the end of the week. We're getting our financing lined up. And he's like, well, we've got an offer over the weekend. I'm like, well, okay. And he's like, it was 130000 I'm like, well, we're prepared to offer full asking price. And um, he's like, okay, well, I'll try to delay it as much as possible. And then he called me back a couple hours. Well, I got a call from my wife a couple hours later saying that, uh, my niece had been approved to buy our house for what we wanted. Okay, so then about an hour later, the guy called me back and said that those people 
uh, except that they're counter offered 143,000. So, um, and then we picked out a different house, made an offer on that, got accepted, and they contacted me again saying that the people that offered on their house uh, still don't have proof of financing. Like, well, that's what happens when you don't use a realtor. You get danced around by people without proof of financing. Now you're sitting there with your house still and and uh, you're waiting. They have like until the middle of the month to uh, have proof of financing, which I'm not sure has happened yet. But um, if something were to happen where we didn't buy this house, then I'd, I would contact them again. But uh, yeah, they'd probably have to cut me a deal at that point. So anyways, that's what's been going on. Got a little long-winded there. But uh, yeah, packing everything up. Um, an idea I've been thinking about doing this spring and summer is like some lawn care, um, like a ser little small series on that. Uh, I've never really managed a lawn before. I just cut it, you know, I've never had a nice lawn, uh, like with any size to it to, uh, really, you know, have it look nice. So, uh, and I'm new to it. No, almost nothing about, uh, you know, really taking care of a lawn. So, uh. It'll be a learning process. So if you guys are interested in that, leave a thumbs up on this video. Leave me a comment down below. And uh, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.